Hey, we're back with George Carlin, best ever comedian, and this is his R-rated dub of uh, Thomas the Tank Engine, Volume 3. Let's get on. Good morning, Percy, he whistled. Driving is fun, isn't it? Did you ever <laughs> run over a guy, eh? and then you panic, so you back up and run over him again? Do you ever notice the second crunch is not as loud as the first? Uh, yes, uh, Thomas, of course, but, uh, <laughs> but what, Percy? Out with it. I think it's because the guy already has tread marks on him. Might as well run over him again. What are you going to do this time? Drive around him? I think you are both well, sorry and deserve a treat. Edward will go in front to clear the line. Thomas will look after the coaches, and Gordon run into a bakery and ask if they can bake a cake in the shape of a penis. Excuse me, sir. Please look in the tank and tell me what you see. Certainly, Inspector, replied Sir Topham Hatt. He clambered up, looked in, and nearly fell off in surprise. Someone defecated. <laughs> they carefully the famous the meme. Fire, putting large lumps of coal <laughs> like a wall around the outside. Good. Holy guacamole, my ass is burning, complained <laughs> Henry. Meanwhile, the inspector was looking for his hat. You just saw the fucking thing, said Sir Topham Hat. Everyone is savage today. Well, scruffy. And he did. God, that shit hurts. It's shameful to treat tender engines like this. It isn't amusing. It's precious half-wit bullshit. The engines have decided to <laughs> That go is something Gordon side. would say. Engines going on public roads must have their wheels covered and a cow catcher in front. Fuck you, I don't do that, said Thomas. <laughs> don't forget, if you refuse to cooperate, Mr. Policeman will beat you to death. Ain't that the truth? Sir Topham Hatt was having breakfast. Oh no, How not again. Like a nice tongue sandwich. It's made from slices of a cow's tongue. Are you fucking trying to make me sick? Said Sir Topham Hatt. <laughs> well, how do you know you don't like it? If you I love this voice. Tried it. It came to me in a dream. Stop! 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 Well, we'll add that life. You've left the refreshment lady behind. Goddamn door is still wide open, groaned Peter Sam. We're sure to miss Henry now. Thomas was impatient. I'm so fucking impatient, said Thomas. <laughs> Hello, Percy, said This Sir is a Tom little Hatt. duller than tired. the other one. I think a guy should be able to declare himself legally tired, said Percy, so he can get out of doing things he didn't <sighs> want to do. Percy, I support what that. What <laughs> are you talking about? The ghost train. The driver saw it last night. What about goblins? Asked Thomas and Toby. And zombies? Where the fuck are all the zombies? Love the zombies. Say. Oh, it makes my wheels wobble to think of it. And Ringo Starr narrated this Thomas. episode Personally, better. I think it's a bunch of shit. Oh, that episode traumatized me as a child. I just seen something, oh, said Toby. More of it! It looked, it looked like Percy's ghost. It, 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 it said it was coming, coming here to warn us. I'm not about to fuck with a ghost. Let someone else flag down the Flying Dutchman. It's not my job. Thomas was a complete Sorry, dick in that ad. We must get the ice cream ready for the passengers. Never mind, Duncan. But Duncan did mind. I'm gonna kill the next motherfucker who pisses me <laughs> off. Where is Tom? Same here. He doesn't usually make us wait. Maybe he's home banging the babysitter. Laughed the driver. Oh, God. But whatever is that rubbish? The rubbish turned out to be Annie, Clarabelle, and Henrietta, who were most offended. Fuck you, they fumed. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> you swank around with your steamroller wheels, pretending you're as good as me. Actually, when did Robert De Niro get here? Adios, motherfucker. The engines found it hard to sleep. I can what we need, suggested Toby, is to listen to a story. Turn on the fucking TV, cried Percy. I want to watch Survivor. <clears throat> Duke's Go for it. fireman oiled and greased him one last time. What Survivor? They sheeted him snugly and said goodbye. Then they had to go away and find work. I want everyone to know it was great being alive, and I really enjoyed myself. He sighed. I especially enjoyed fucking and going to the movies. <laughs> Dutch Put that on your gravestone. He set off across the bridge. Bulgy wailed as he felt the bridge quiver. Whoa! Whoa! Stop! 
he shouted. It might fall on me. Somehow, said Doc, I enjoy watching people suffer. Stop! Stop! You're going the wrong way! But it's a backing signal, Percy protested and told him about Gordon and James. What are they, fucking stupid? Said his driver. Has everybody lost their goddamn mind? <laughs> Suddenly he heard an extraordinary noise. Whee! He said. Sleepers and ballast, I'm off! And he was. And he was. <clears throat> Duncan has done it again. Come on, old boy, we'll have to get him out. The little diesel refused to move. Are you kidding? He's an asshole. Look, just five minutes, okay? Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. Five minutes. But no more. After that, I'm gonna puke. And Rusty roared into mm. life. This one's alright. He went to a Last one. and they showed him all sorts of engines. He saw a smart little green engine with four wheels. That's the one, he thought. If I choose you, will you work hard? Big bats down to one five. Five over cross up the thing. Oh, nose, baseball, hieroglyphics, hopscotch, pouch. Inevitably, two, four, eight, four, eight, four, eight, four, eight. I, I with the two, 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 three, four, five. Down here, mother, we're all home now. Sir what? Sir Topham had felt exhausted. Fuck that, said Sir Topham had. What a noise. Well, that was fun. Uh, okay. Pretty amusing. Not as good as the first two, though. Catch you later.